good afternoon everybody so we have uh, successfully completed the third semester and uh, we are going to begin with our fourth semester and uh, the syllabus and details will be given in the uh, respective classroom you can uh, look into it so in semester four we shall uh, begin with a uh, chapter five okay chapter five deals with the concept of spectrum and uh, freedom theory of compact operators so this is uh, the first chapter of our first module of semester four so let's move on to it so first we shall be discussing about a uh, definition that is uh, what is meant by a regular point okay it is related regular point is related to a uh, a bounded operator so suppose uh, we have a bounded operator say a okay then any complex number omega element of c is said to be a regular point if and only if the inverse operator a minus omega i whole inverse exists and is bounded okay so or simply i can just say that if a is a bounded operator then any complex number omega is said to be a regular point if a minus omega i is invertible if that particular operator a minus omega i is an invertible operator and is bounded okay so that is what is meant by the regular point so i hope the definition is clear there is nothing much complicated in it so next is uh, we shall discuss what is spectrum so before discussing or before understanding what is spectrum we have to know what is meant by the spectrum point a point which is not regular is called a spectrum point okay so in this uh, from uh, in this chapter and all we'll be discussing about uh, the constants or the scalars all belonging to c okay here we don't uh, we are not uh, considering about any uh, scalars uh, which belong to the real part I mean, uh, in previous uh, semester and all, we had uh, seen that it can be from the scalars, can be from real numbers as well as complex numbers. So here we are exclusively concentrating on complex numbers only. So any uh, complex number which is not a regular point of a bounded operator is said to be a spectrum point. Okay. So correspondingly, um, if it is a spectrum, uh, we can form a set of such points. Okay. Okay, so the set of spectrum points will form the spectrum of the given operator. Okay, the set of all spectrum points forms the spectrum of the operator and we denote it by sigma of A. Okay, A is the bounded operator, sigma of A is the spectrum. Spectrum is a set of points which are not regular. Now, there is a note. That is, uh, the set of regular points is open. That is the first note. The second one is sigma of A is a closed set. So, if we actually prove the first one, this is simple. Why? Because actually sigma of A is the uh, complement of the set of regular points. Right? So, if one set is open, and then its complement will be closed. Right? So, if we are able to prove that the set of regular points is open, then this is trivially true sigma of a is a closed set so uh, we are going to prove it so we can uh, state that the spectrum of any bounded operator will be a closed set right so first let's show what is the or uh, let's see how we can prove that the set of regular points is a open set okay so uh, let uh, lambda dot be a regular point okay so if lambda dot is a regular point uh, then by definition I can say that uh, a minus uh, lambda dot i okay this is the operator is invertible right it is invertible and uh, bounded Okay, these are the two properties so this is what is uh, given to us okay now we need to show that the set of regular points is open so let me choose a point 
lambda 1 such that modulus of lambda 1 minus lambda dot is less than epsilon that is lambda 1 lies very close to lambda dot or I can say that lambda 1 is in the neighborhood of lambda dot okay right now what I'm going to show is we wish we will prove that this lambda 1 is also a regular point okay that is if we are considering any point lambda dot then its neighborhood also contains the points which are regular so that means every point in that regular set okay in that uh, set of regular points forms an interior point and if they are uh, if every point is an interior point then we can say that that set is open right so first i chose a lambda dot then i chose a point lambda 1 close to lambda dot and i'm going to prove that this lambda 1 is also a regular point okay so consider the operator consider the operator a minus lambda 1 into i okay now uh, we shall be using the properties of section 4.7 so just uh, recall them and keep them in mind now i'm going to determine what is a minus lambda dot i minus normal a minus lambda dot i minus a minus lambda 1 into i this is nothing but a and a and it will get cancelled right so this will be nothing but lambda 1 minus lambda dot into uh sorry So this is what is left right a and n gets cancelled now this is nothing but modulus of lambda 1 minus lambda dot by the property of norm and norm of i is 1 so this was chosen to be uh, this is less than epsilon right okay so I am getting norm of a minus lambda dot i minus a minus lambda 1 i is less than epsilon okay so we have by property 4.7 second one a third one okay that is uh, the properties is as follows it is if a is invertible okay and norm of a minus b is less than some epsilon there it was 1 by norm of a then we can say that b is invertible okay so this is the property so you can just verify it uh, now so this is a property 4.73 this is what it states so i have got a minus lambda dot i minus a minus lambda 1 i is less than epsilon so this is my a of property 4.7 of which is if I treat a minus lambda dot i as a and a minus lambda 1 i as b it satisfies all the properties or all the conditions so by property I can say that a minus lambda 1 i is a invertible operator thus lambda 1 forms a regular point so we have obtained uh, lambda 1 is a regular point and lambda was 1 was chosen arbitrarily so we can uh, say that any point in the neighborhood of lambda dot is regular and thus every point in the set of regular points forms a interior points and thus the set of uh, regular points is open and uh, as I mentioned before uh, sigma of a being the complement of the set of regular points uh, it will be a closed set so next we shall move on to a proposition proposition 5.0.1 that is it states that every complex number with modulus of lambda greater than or equal to norm of a okay here a is the usual bounded operator mapping from x to x norm of a is the regular point of the operator a. 
if you are given any operator and if we have a complex number such that its modulus value is greater than or equal to norm of a then we can easily prove that that uh, complex number will be a regular point so let's see how we are going to uh, move on to that proof so lambda is a complex number and the property is that modulus of lambda is greater than or equal to norm of a okay so from this i can write that norm of a by mod lambda will be less than or equal to 1 right i'm just taking mod lambda on the other side or i can say norm of a by lambda right by property of norm this is less than 1 okay now we have a minus lambda i okay we have to show that lambda is a regular point so we need to show that a minus lambda i is invertible so a minus lambda i can be written as i am taking this lambda out common so this would be minus lambda into i minus a by lambda i hope you guys are uh, getting where i am moving on to see so i have a minus lambda i is nothing but minus lambda into i minus a by lambda okay so here a is given as uh, uh, given to us and it is a bounded operator right now by property 4.7 again uh, we are referring to 4.7 property uh, and uh, we are referring to the uh, second one here i minus a by lambda will be invertible right if uh, norm of a by lambda is less than uh, equal to 1 then i minus a by lambda is invertible okay uh, what was the property if you guys remember this property uh, was that if norm of a is less than or equal to some q which is less than 1 then i minus a is invertible or i minus a inverse x is this was the property 4.72 so from this with the help of this property uh, we can get i minus a by lambda is invertible okay since norm of a by lambda is less than or equal to 1 so if i minus a by lambda is invertible then so is minus lambda minus lambda is just a constant right a scalar minus lambda into i minus a by lambda will also be invertible so in turn a minus lambda i is invertible uh, this implies a minus lambda i is invertible and this implies lambda is a regular point so if we have any complex number whose modulus value is greater than or equal to norm of a then we can sh easily show that this complex number forms a regular point so that was a simple proposition of this we shall wind up today session